Welcome, lords and ladies of fate. In this stream, we play various tabletop role-playing games as you, the audience, earn fate chips that can be used to reward or punish your favorite players or their characters. You can earn fate chips by watching, following, hosting, subscribing, uh, or just contributing to the game. You can then use those fate chips to heal characters, adjust their next skill checks, or force them to say silly lines, and then wreak havoc on the storyline. Tonight, we're playing Star Trek Adventures. Uh, and it's, uh, these are the voyages of the starship Norway. It's eight day mission to make it long enough to a nine day mission. Our crew consists of, uh, this evening, Captain Roland Sykes, played by Armand. Uh, make it so. Lieutenant Commander Sivek, played by Good Devil. Uh, Commander Baljazorthus. Played by myself. And to mediate uh, the will of the fates for this voyage is our very own Q, Wayne. Hello. All right. Um. Uh, oh, I believe there's a, a trivia question. Yes. Uh, and in a sponsorship. You'd like to, uh, if you would like to take care of that cue? Well, first, we shall have the last time on Star Trek Fates. What last time uh, we used an unusual means of communication with people who had chosen to poop a snoot. Now, on the Starfleet official Ouija board, which of the following is not a symbol on the official Ouija board? A pentagram, a sombrero, a bat lift, or the poop emoji. I love the idea that it's like a licensed Ouija board by Starfleet. It's standard oh, yes. issue. Standard, standard issue. issue. This is a standard issue. We see a lot of weird stuff in Starfleet. But um, now, much against my will, <coughs> apparently, um, while you're contemplating this and trying to retrieve those facile detail, uh, relevant details from your tiny minds. Do I have to do this? Yep. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay. Because we've been losing sponsors because some of our people can't seem to control themselves and we've lost Friskies and Ovaltine. I we have uh, apparently some enterprising little little human has decided that this is something that we need to do to keep the ship afloat. It would be much easier if you all just simply subscribed. But this is the way it is. Hello. You need, you need to find a place, a place to sleep. Come to Gredlog and Reginard's place to sleep. We have pillows. Pillows are soft. Bring your enterprise to our place to sleep. Just give us our computer, your computer codes, so that you know we know where to put your ship. Again, Greg Nog and Reginard's place to sleep. Sleep with us. We like Vibro. Vibro makes us strong. And with that. Yeah, you absolutely wash your mouth out after that. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of subscribers, thanks to Atlas for doing your uh, subscription and Lonely Fans for uh, your Prime and uh, your gift subscription. Greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. Please don't make the queue that the continuum humiliate itself again. Oh, I bet that tasted really good. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> Now that we got viewers, spam that uh, <laughs> chat with those heart emotes. 
Okay, and um, Atlas seems to have uh, ventured a guess here, uh, but your guess was incorrect. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not going to tell the rest of the lords and ladies of fate what uh, Atlas had guessed, but uh, one what? of those is now off the board. What? Oh, well, this is amazing. I, ta I take it, my omnipotence is just, I just take it for granted that not everyone seems to keep up with things like the official Starfleet Ouija board. It was that Alien First Contact 101. That lot. Yeah, there we go. She Found said the, the, the ball, but I, I I think she might be having a, 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 she might be squinting a little too hard there. That's a, there's a T there. It's a, it's a bat lot. Yeah, it shows up tinier on the other screen. But that oh. would be the correct answer. Atlas, you've earned yourself a one-way ticket. So. Yeah, we didn't think to put yeah. anything actually Star Trek on the Star Trek Ouija board. Go figure. Oh uh, no, there is a Star Trek. There is. Uh, there was a Vulcan salute. Oh, that's right. And and a uh, thing. I simply uh, chose things that were a little more, uh, shall we say, lower decks. <laughs> Appreciate that. So. Um, Congratulations to everyone. Thank you for participating. And because we have uh, two of our cast who are somewhat integral to the plot, as, as integral as any of your tiny, tiny little lives, as important as any of your tiny little lives could be, there is a brief sidetrack from, uh, from just before this mission, just down cruise that happened. It's amazing how many times you have excitement just after a shakedown cruise or perhaps maybe this was just before the shakedown cruise time is fluid so um what i'm going to do is this adventure is called band camp and uh you bear with me i have to set my thread up <laughs> you all get nothing uh, whereas i get six threats that's um, always wonderful to start. It is always good <laughs> to start out the day with, start out the day healthy and happy. So and there's band, a list of redeemable yeah. items. R. Link. So you are all, believe it or not, in a bar, because that is just how we're going to roll for this. You're going to leap into an adventure. They seem to love these bars. Oh, yeah, you're at Modine's. I mean, and and Quark, these starships the same. Yeah, Quark really uh, uh, cornered the market on uh, starbase bar design. Yes, I believe that it was uh, Quark, Quark, and and really low rent Earth Vegas of the twenty first century. <laughs> <sighs> this restaurant even rotates through the quantum through, through quantum uh, subdomains. Note that there are even even what we used to call cash machines from the era when money was a thing so um you are all uh sitting at the uh sitting at the bar i believe you're just about to take the norway out on her shakedown cruise you're about to receive the keys from the admiral if i recall correctly and i believe this was the first uh command uh for captain roland and uh, Bahal's first uh, actual introduction to Starfleet. He had just, I think, come from... Um, he just transferred over from the Imperial Guard, whereas Sivik and Roland had been uh, known to each other for some time, and, and Sivik was specifically brought with Roland. I like I, do guess. I read your backstory? No, I Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it all fits. Um... But yes, uh, and you're about to, you're a few hours away from, um, you know, the, off the, the, the Admiral's a late riser. So about 11 o'clock, she's going to be in her office. So we're, we're in the bar pre 11 o'clock. Well, 11 PM. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> she likes to keep her eyes at time, but, uh, keep in mind with Cynthia Hall, I don't see a downside to drinking whenever you want now. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> and again, people did eat more and ate breakfast at Quark's Bar. So you are, um, uh, yeah, uh, 
if you wish to to uh, conduct banter and small talk as your tiny species seems to relish. Starfleet so, always do events this late. Uh, this is uh, this is just this admiral. Uh, she's uh, she's an odd one. But uh, hey, we can get some uh, we can get some food while we're here. Yeah, it is about eight o'clock, so everyone's uh, just sort of relaxing and and things. Uh, Gail is uh, here and and happy to serve you if uh, there's anything of interest that you. Uh, wanted to have I forget if we have did we cast yeah we did cast him um and also the the Cardassian uh, uh, his Cardassian partner is also here oh wonderful Cardassian uh that means that uh, uh this bar would be stocked with some canar sure we have the best canar in the quadrant I'll uh I'll take a glass of canar please okay um, so yeah, the canar is that. Is there anything else for you, gentlemen, that you would like to have? Uh, some. Do you have any uh, fresh highbore? Let me see. Uh, he he goes around and he says, "We we do have Winsleydale." All right. Is that like that Dan? No, it's uh, uh, Monty Python. <laughs> um. <laughs> But no, uh, he's he's going to check through the the replicator supply, um, and also the. But you did say fresh, did you not, sir? Yeah, yeah. Preferably, okay. I'll, I'll I'll take it either way. But well, no, I I'll give me a minute, and um, uh, Gail sends. Uh, um, or some red bat. I... Red bat would be also acceptable. Okay, I will look and see what that is. Actually, right <laughs> off the bat, is there anything you want to fill an omnipotent being in on? <laughs> I just looked up uh, uh, creatures from Andor, so. Curse <laughs> <laughs> you, memory beta! You are just evil. Um. So, um. Yeah. So he's going to say, "Oh, I have the left, the the left third flank from one that is is just fresh in from one of the uh, one of the nearby Andorian colonies." Oh great! So, uh, yeah, so there's a small class J moon that's like about four light years away. So we can add that to our lore. So yeah, he br- he brings in a thing. Luckily, they're not considered sentient, so he can have fresh meat. Um, and and uh, would there be anything for you, uh, uh, Com- Lieutenant Commander Civic? Civic <clears throat> uh, 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 is too uh, engrossed in his uh, his pre-flight checklist uh, to have heard the bartender. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm okay. going to um I'm going to look at um uh Civic and uh kind of like reach across the bar and put my hand in front of his data pad and motion it down towards the bar and go Civic Civic. There'll be plenty of time for pre-flight checks and all of that. L- loosen up a little bit. Uh, get something to eat. We're going to be here for a little bit. Captain, I have but finished my my second run through of the checklist uh, that uh, is going to be necessary for the successful function of our brand new ship. Oh, Civic, C- I, I I know you are a, a, a dutiful Starfleet officer and uh, and and very thorough. Uh, I have the utmost confidence that everything will be tip top when we uh, when we leave port here. Uh, just. Uh... Enjoy yourself a little bit. I'm not. I'm not dragging you to the holodeck right now. Just you know, it's dinner time. Mm. Mm. If I agree to dinner time, uh, does it, will you spare me uh, your holodeck mysteries for at least one more week? Yeah, you know we're gonna be really busy with the shakedown and all that anyway. So yeah, I can. I can. I can put off our next uh, holodeck. Well, I believe then as. You humans say, I believe you have a deal, Captain. We already have the stock, but is there any is there any root vegetables you prefer? Yeah. 
45. Okay, I will sure make I will make sure they're extra hundred for you. There's this person that came across came uh who was passing through who was on the Voyager. Oh no. Nope, can't do that. Shit. Sorry. There. This was the wrong time. Um so yeah, the um here, I'll I'll get you that immediately. So he scuttles off. Um to uh, look for the orders, the 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 shank. Um, did the captain order anything? Uh, just the canar for me. Uh oh. I think we're fixed. I think we lost Q. Did we? Who's Q? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> uh, uh, I was in the continuum. I, I was in the continuum. Give me a minute. <laughs> I uh, I'm going to say that uh, I seem to have lost what lost where I was in the continuum, guys. Na, 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 na. Hey, we're, we're completely fucked. Completely fucked. We're <laughs> completely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the channel, uh, 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 another shout out channel. For the bare necessities, <laughs> the simple bare necessities. Sometimes you run on those. Yeah. <laughs> so I believe I've gotten my act back together. Um, so Gail has moved off uh, to get the food. I did remember once I asked Captain Roland uh, what his order was to confirm. Uh, that's when the screen froze. Correct. But looks like we're on the up and up now. No, I like the idea that all of you will stop at this point and act like it froze just to mess with Q. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good devil knows what I'm talking about. Yep, very good. <laughs> so um, you have, uh, I forgot, did, what did Captain or Roland order? Uh, just the glass of Canar. That's it? Uh, do you have, uh, can, can you make a poutine? All right, are you looking at Ontario or Montreal poutine? Uh, uh, is there any other kind besides Montreal? Yeah, he's concerned about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just decided right here, right now, that Captain Roland's Canadian. <laughs> Captain Roland is now officially... Are you one, too? A father? No, Canadian. <laughs> that must mean you know Will Riker. Oh, you know Riker! You have the beard and everything! Now, why does oh. everyone keep asking me that? Because you're Canadian and you have beards. Which is even better. Oh, uh, yeah, I have no idea how we're supposed to do that. <laughs> um, uh, who is... Who is uh, oh, wait, wait, yeah, that didn't actually go through. It did? No, it didn't. Uh... Do they want to enhance a skill? Because that's the that's the equivalent of the XP. Yeah, we could do yeah, skill boost you... and stuff like that, but uh, there's no XP in in Star Trek Adventures, so. No, you're going to be an ensign for a long, long time. <laughs> Settle in. There we go. Went with the skill bonus instead. <laughs> a skill bonus. <laughs> so for the next the next two rolls, he will. Um, be able to pick an extra die for free, which is his equivalent of a skill bonus for this system. Ooh. So, um, but also I believe uh, that I chatted something to uh, Bahal. Uh, yes. But Cebic, yes, you're studying the manuals. Um, and actually one of the things uh, while you vanish from reality. You can still hear. He's vanished from reality. Um, <laughs> Uh, one of the things that you do notice, uh, you've gone over your schematics again, and it, could you do an uh, engineering and, uh, what's it called, um, reason roll, please, I at think, difficulty level zero? I think maybe Civic just remembered that we're playing a game that requires dice. <laughs> 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 no, that's not what happened at all. I think Civic just remembered that he had he had bodily needs. <laughs> There's a bucket certainly off stage. Bucket. William, I believe that William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy often had just buckets right behind things. 
I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's where the turbo lift really goes. And we have... So, I'm sorry, guys. So, we have a fail and a success. Uh, however, also, you get an extra die if you wish to use it for free. So, you get to roll three dice on this task. And another fail. What? I'm rolling very well for, for Dungeons & Dragons at the moment. Okay. This was a zero-level a zero level task. Uh, so, uh, you noticed on your checklist uh, that the the actual intermix chamber could actually be tweaked to achieve 114% efficiency uh, on the, uh, uh, for the, re oh, the, plasma, the uh, matter and matter reaction. So you actually uh, enhanced the ship while you were just sitting in the bar. Of course I did. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's just how I roll. So um, yeah, uh, anyway, the Gale is bringing back uh, the canar and uh, plumeg soup. And um, uh, he, he just says, you're going to have to give me a minute. I have to super chill the meat so that it's an acceptable temperature. So he, he, you know, um, yells over at Andre, uh, which is what we'll just call his Cardassian lover, who was also one of the, the waiters. Andre, keep your fingers out of the super cooler. And um, hopefully that won't happen again. He's, Andre's lost a few fingers, apparently. Uh, Captain, is it, is it highly unusual for Gorn to be outside of their normal space? Why, yes, it, it it very well is. I didn't even realize that they were back there. Huh. So it's part of my job to be aware of things. And uh, I was aware of this. I thought it was very highly suspicious. Well, um, what do you propose we, uh, we do about it? Just keep an eye on the situation? Should we go over there? Maybe they want to play some... Uh... What's the what's the what's 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 space, the game they play? Space billiards, <laughs> dumb jot, well, that, rock that's throwing, dumb jot. Um, rock what, throwing, <laughs> catch, catch the propelled Dabo. crystal, Dabo. That's what Dabo. it is. <laughs> Maybe they want to play a game of Dabo. Or I think I believe the other is behead the Kirk was uh, is, was a game that was very popular for about a hundred years. Rufus Deck said they're going to a Gorn wedding. They're going to a Gorn <laughs> wedding. Ha ha ha! Yes, they may well be. Well, someone's been reading ahead. <laughs> so um, we have, uh, yeah. You, uh, um, now, one of the other things is uh, there are two Gorn. They're a bit smaller than the other one. Um, I've named them, even though you're not supposed to know names. But this Gorn over here seems to be uh, much more the, the one with the mustache seems to be much larger than the other Gorn and has very ill-fitting clothes. Um, uh, part of it is, who is who here has studied Gorn, uh, Gorn society as anyone who is sitting around a bar at Starfleet would? Do they have music? Uh, <laughs> rock music. <laughs> <laughs> Scales. <laughs> That's probably about the most I would know. Don't forget, this is Star Trek, where you can just declare declare an area of knowledge. Um, but th though I do think that Bahal is uh, somewhat uh, restricted in his experience with uh, member worlds outside of Andoria. I think it was a very insular life. So that leaves it up to the uh, up to Civic and Roland if they want to decide to step out and know about other species. And that's not on a character sheet. You can make it up if you want. Um, sure. Yeah, so I'm sure. Science Cap officer, didn't you? I'm sure Captain Roland paid attention in um, outside civilizations class or whatever. In Strange New Worlds class. Yeah. Or, <laughs> it was a Strange New Worlds class, or is this the New Life and New Civilizations class? Because there's two sections of that. I think you have, um, to take, you have to take 101 before you can take 102, though. Yeah, you have to take New Life, and then you get New Civilizations as a Part B. Don't take them out of sequence. Boothby will kick your ass. <laughs> so, um, 
Uh, yeah, actually, uh, you can do a notice and stuff roll if you want. Sure, uh, yeah. Which is, uh, I'm going to go with uh, science and reason, or if you wanted to use your command skill instead of your science skill. Sure, we'll do command and reason. Okay, and also I'm going to increase the complication range because you might have drunk, uh, been drunk during uh, most of Starfleet. Most of <laughs> Academy days. He, he does. Uh, Captain Roland does like a glass of Canard. And he is a, he is a Canadian. We're just gonna like come at me, Canada. <laughs> um, but yeah, what'll happen is that 19 or 20 introduces introduces a complication. Let me guess, 19. Well, now my command and, and reason are very very good. Uh, 16 is what I needed. Yes. I, I rolled 115. <laughs> And, right. and a 19. Yeah, that's a complication. Oh, Goddamn Kanar coming back to kick me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, I think it found your privates. <laughs> so, um, uh, what are the complications? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, let me see. What did, did I actually, uh, I don't, I'm not going to go hunt around for it. We're just going to make this baby up on the fly. Because I, if I recall, we did this and we did it. Complication. <laughs> we are gonna. We are just gonna roll with that, and we're gonna do it in. Oh, I will say. Did anyone notice that Comic Sans was used no. by the by the uh, Packlids in their ad? This was the cheesy ad. <laughs> I did not notice. They used Comic Sans, <sighs> and and nice. that episode was. Uh, and the episode was called The Karen Snare. I, look, man, all of me is invited. Okay, <laughs> so there is the complication. And what I'm going to do is stick that over here uh, for a later moment. You have one success. Um, and so this was, yeah, it was a one level task. So um, you do notice that, well, the particular thing about it, uh, Gordon physiology is the males and females are distinct. And the one wearing the mustache is not a male. Or at least you think you you seem to identify their gender as female. Uh, they're they're larger, they're more muscular. But this one seems to be jammed into a male outfit and has a fake mustache on. Commander, it seems that uh, these Gorn are uh, very strange. That female over there uh, seems to be masquerading as a as a as a man. Do Gorn typically do that? <laughs> typically, Gorn um, uh, females aren't, aren't aren't around much, so um, they're they're actually very you know like. Mostly, it's the males of the species that seem to be the one Starfleet has interacted with in public. Um, but you uh, also, you know, you're not sure. But uh, Gorn tend to be. I'm going to say this um, at this time, as far as Starfleet knows, Gorn tend to be very gender binary because there there's significant physical and biological differences between them. But they are egalitarian, as are all Star Trek species. They're, yeah. Um, but no, this this might not be a. It may be a case of a Gorn um, uh, uh, having a different gender presentation. Um, but it is something unusual. It does catch your eye. And uh, who's who is uh, who is the highest security? Um, I've got four. All right. Um, one of the things, uh, Bahal, as, as a security officer, um, now that your attention has been drawn to the fact that this person is wearing uh, clothing that's that's counter to their their gender, or counter to their their persona person that person. Um, if you want to go against, uh, I believe it's insight or is it perception? Which do we have? Do we have insight. an insight? Insight. insight. 
I would like insight and security at level one. All right. And it's fully a, a task one. So you have um, you you roll two dice, or you can buy more if you want. Oh, I feel pretty good about it. Let's do it. Okay. I got a success and a failure, a nine and a sixteen. Okay. Um, that was a difficult one, so we'll just not bank anything. Um, this is this is a very um, it's a very hastily constructed outfit. So this does not look like something that was planned, um, because your eye of uh, for so they, security they got the, includes subterfuge. The glasses with the nose and the mustache from the gift shop. This is this is very much a gift shop nose and mustaches thing. Uh, the the work on the garment is very clearly like, uh, very crudely like let out, because this this uh, the 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 person the one the Gordon with the mustache is is much larger. And and bolt and more more muscular than than the other two, which are clearly male, um, and so this garment had to be refit and retooled in a hurry. It looks like so you're getting a sense this was a bit of a rush job, um, and the Gorn aren't slouches by any means in terms of technology or care, but this is clearly not something that was um, uh, you know a choice like someone decided to dress this way. So I don't know if you want to share that with anyone. Yeah, Captain. Uh, it's by my by my uh, judgment, I, I believe this was this ruse was put on in, in quite a hurry. Uh, they're either um, hastily trying to uh, to protect themselves, or uh, or just really terrible at this. Hmm. Well. Uh, the question is, Commander, do do we want to try to get to the bottom of this? I mean, this could be a security issue. All right. Um, Lieutenant Commander, any thoughts? <laughs> well, I'm, the, it, Sivek is just enjoying his... his Blooming? Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. Didn't I tell you those fruit vegetables are amazing? I made sure they were extra potent. Something to open up the old nostrils after being around humans so long. Am I right? Um, but you know, being the being the sarcastic dick that Sivek is, um, <clears throat> could I perhaps uh, cite a role of uh, 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 philosophy focus? Um, mm hmm. As far as coming up with the knowledge as to why maybe uh, a, a Gorn would cross-dress or, you know, want to try and cover up. Oh, yeah. Um, go right ahead. Uh, uh, you can, you are, um, yeah, what kind of, uh, uh, what kind of, uh, let me see. Yeah, where are you headed with it? If, if I'm not mistaken, were you, were you working on the, the typical Mulder? There aren't aliens. Or where you're coming up with a counterexample of, well, perhaps they feel more comfortable in men's clothing. Right. It, yeah. Just um, uh, like something this would be, you know, just, you know, as with humans, it's probably, this is also present with Gorn somewhat. Yeah. Or it also, a, you don't want to be involved. Like your bottom line is you like, don't want to be Like, you know, I just want to be able to find out for myself if, uh, maybe, uh, <clears throat> uh the secu uh, or sorry, uh, the XO and the captain, uh, are perhaps putting their noses up somewhere they don't belong. Definitely. They're, they're, they're sticking their nose in a cloaca where it doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. You know. Right, yeah, if, I, if, uh, if a Vulcan could get sassy, you know, mind you, yeah. Vulcan did. Oh, well, but that's the, that's the Starfleet way. Like, it also, Starfleet is sticking noses in places they don't belong. Which and is, I came from a background in security, so, you know, it's just my thing. But um, no, I like that. And by the way, uh, that's going to be uh, a, a point of momentum for free uh, for for philosophical questioning and role playing in character of, hey, should we be should we be investigating Captain? Because the Vulcans are the ultimate wet blanket of the of <laughs> going where no one has gone before. You know, what if we didn't? 
To, yeah. to my credit, oh, oh, I, oh. I, I I did increase the ship's efficiency by 114 percent. Yes, you did. It seems um, I want to boldly go where Starfleet would like to go. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say, Sassy Vulcan, that is as canon as a toupee and a girdle on a captain. <laughs> Present oh. company accepted? Maybe. Yep. You'll never see him from the waist, from the shoulders down, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's real. Um, so, uh, yeah, you, uh, has, has, uh, well, while you guys are doing this, uh, Sisliss, like, uh, looks like she, it, well, I'm going to use the pronoun they, uh, because we are presuming a female, but don't know this, and, and another, uh, so, uh, for this, this character, they, um, seem to actually exhibit a reflex of some sort of pain and um it's it's fleeting but it's evident and it is also uh they also are um uh, grabbing uh one of the other gorn's uh claws uh in the in in some sort of a gesture uh you know which is which is physical contact right uh do I get a sense that uh, any uh, any one of these three uh, don't want to be here? They, well, uh, Gorn are uh, a bit hard to read. So if you do have, um, I'm going to go with, if you have medicine or science or command, your choice, because this is ambiguous. I would go with science. And, um, perception or uh insight okay uh perception insight um by the way also as a standing thing any insight any roles uh involving gorn psychology psychology or culture will have a critical range of 19 to 20 a critical failure range of 19 to 20. Understood. Just, just to let you know as the, right. as the good captain found out that can be cool with a target of 11, we have a 14. Yes. And a three. And you also have one more die, if you wish, because okay. you got a skill bump. A 10, so two successes. Two successes. You only needed one, so we can, uh, whoops, you can bank one. And also, because you've asked an information question, you can ask continue to ask questions at the cost of momentum. Um. <laughs> Uh, this is a dumb question. You are asking what again? My chief question is, uh, uh, was, do I have the sense that any of them do not want to be here currently? You have the sense that all of them are extremely not cool with being here. Um, you, the, because the eyes are, are multifaceted and crystalline, they don't, uh, look in any direction. You're not sure where they're looking except, uh, by the position of their head. So it's a much more subtle uh, kind of distinction and, and observation, but they do seem to be making sure they know exactly what is around them at all times. Now that could be because they're out of towners. It could be um, general xenophobia or uh, anything like that because Gorn do have a level of xenophobia. Um, or it could be something else, but they seem to be unusually alert uh, in a situation which should not call for it. Because Gorn ought to kick back. Mm -hmm. uh, they do also... Uh, no, never mind. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> It'll cost you more if you want it. Uh, I would like to spend a, uh, a momentum to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> know about it. Do you wish to fuck around? <laughs> it looks like you're trying. Do you wish to spend, no. Is it going to cost another momentum to find out? Uh, you have a. Uh, I've I've taken one momentum out of the pool uh, that you put there, so you're damn well entitled to it. And um, you do notice that 
in addition to them scanning the room, you were looking for, well, what are they scanning for? And right now their focus doesn't lie on anything. However, you do see a uh, Vulcanoid, uh, the only other named character in the scene, uh, sitting in the back of the bar with a, with a cloaked hood shading his eyes and a large sword and there's he's in the depths of shadow so you could you could look at this as an edgelord uh style character um but uh, someone who is a vulcan who is uh maintaining a, a general cool demeanor as is as is the way of the species but that vulcanoid is taking very surreptitious but very clear notice of the gorn Mm. However, the Gorn have not spotted him. Captain, it, it would seem your suspicions may be correct. Uh, the the Gorn that we have here are acting in ways un, uh, not uncommon of being on high alert. Meanwhile, there's another character uh, character towards the back of the, uh, uh, or behind the, uh, the Gorn that I find far more fascinating as to his current presence and the Gorn's, uh, mm, you know, I lost my train of thought there. I'm sorry. Let me go back on that. Um, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll, I'll <laughs> I, I'll just leave it uh, uh, where uh, uh, that there's someone at the the back of the bar uh, that I find more uh, more more fascinating and someone of perhaps higher concern uh, than the Gorn. Well, I think this calls for an old trick I learned at the academy. Civic. <laughs> uh, trip me also there are some uh, additional starfleet personnel that do come in um for the morning uh breakfast as well uh so be in just are um known to you as as uh crewman on a on an intrepid class starship i'm gonna look at the commander and go commander you keep your eyes on the gentleman in the back civic trip me and I'm going to get up with my glass of canar and go all right well I think I'm gonna head over to the Dabo tables and try my luck and then I'm gonna walk by Civic. and I am just going to wail my shin into his <laughs> okay yeah and then uh, I'm gonna do you over... wish to make do you, do you wish to make you're you're all coming up with a very elaborate plan would you like to see if uh, if the if the dice agree with your with it or if sure no. yeah I'm going to say, audience, those fate chips could be spent right here, right now. <laughs> um, uh, uh, we'll give it a hot second. Nope. Oh, all right. Time's up. Um, what I need is uh, there's the tripper and the trippy. So between you, you need to generate three momentum on this rather elaborate ruse. And this is going to be a uh, security and daring uh, roll. You're not going to science your way out of this, boy. Uh. Uh. And is there any focus that would uh, indicate play acting or uh, team dynamics? My God, my God, yes. Uh, Holodeck mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> or the captain insists I play a character. Wait, that is a focus? Mm hmm. How the hell did I. How did I approve this? <laughs> what am I. What am I okaying here? All right. So I believe that expands your critical range uh, to whatever, whatever your. Uh, I believe your security score is, which is still one. Yes, that is your IQ and your security skill. Uh, 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 and you said we need to generate three successes here? Three successes uh, total. Between my, you. My, my security is a two. Good. All story. right. You have a uh, critical would, range of one to two. Would I, team dynamics apply here? Uh, 
Well, it would have applied in studying how the Gorn were interacting if you had thought to mention it. <laughs> well, space, it, it, it's basically spores over the drive. That's all I can say. I'm going to okay. buy, um, um, I'm going to use momentum to buy it an extra die. As will I. Okay, you're draining out momentum? Yep. They Drain it. How to do this in GM school? So everybody rolls three dice. Um, the the temporary buff on um, Civic is is expired. All right. So we have. Oh, I know those faces. I love these faces. <laughs> we have six, six, nine, and eighteen. You barely missed it. Good. Well, actually, no. Um, it's not a growth psychology. It's twenty. So yeah, six, nine, and eighteen. That's. Two. Uh, I apologize, uh, Civic. What was your rolls? And target of nine, so I have a nine. <laughs> Two. Sweet. And an eight. There That's you go. three. Actually, because of your uh, focus, it's two successes. You generated uh, four momentum. Nice. So you each generated a total of six momentum. You needed three. Uh, that gives the group back three to the pool. Aren't you all special working together like good little minions? <laughs> so uh, you now have been tripped, and because you've made your successes, uh, in, I forget in which direct. My omnipotence covers so many dimensions, I don't remember in which quantum reality you wanted to go. So uh, from the act of being tripped, I would like to um, fall towards... Um, I'm going to be butchering this. Sliss... Uh, uh, and trying to pour the canar all over this um, this poor Gorn's hastily uh, put together disguise. You're really gonna do this? You're gonna you're gonna dump a drink on a Gorn, huh? Is 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 an accident? Is clearly clearly an accident. And and I'm gonna get up and go. Oh my goodness! I am so sorry. I'm gonna reach for like a bar rag or something and start like patting this Gorn down. I, I believe we call this pulling a Zestus three for misunderstanding. We know how famously Gorns deal with misunderstandings. <laughs> Would this be audience? Where are you? How far is our lag? To like 30 seconds. Audience. Yeah, audience. not too bad. Before I do this, there's a complication awaiting. Oh, I forgot about that complication. Ooh. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> it's your job not to. We yes. rolled so well. You we rolled, rolled so well. You tripped. I'm I'm so impressed that you you did a robber. You did a um um oh spit. Um, you 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 managed to um, man, who played Robert Petrie? Dick Van Dyke. You did a Vic, Dick Van Dyke or a Chevy Chase, as the uh, the boomers would say. But no, uh, a complication. Audience, should I should I levy the complication against the good captain? Someone's gonna get fucked tonight. <laughs> well, if it's female, no. <laughs> she does have two helpers, and we have to decide. Now you get to decide whether they have one or two. They say do it. They say do it. They say do it. Yep. All right. The audience has spoken just like in the post-atomic horror courts. The majority is wise. The complication has been spent. I'm going to clone this scene. Uh, so I have a fresh slate to deal with you pathetic creatures as I will. All right. So Captain Roland is over here. And... Uh, Civic is there. I believe Bahal is uh, keeping his distance and the Endorian tactic of keeping the hell out of this. He's keeping his eyes trained on the gentleman in the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, is he? What is he doing? Okay, you are keeping it. You're keeping an eye on uh, the the yes. Balkan, right? I just want to double check. All right. Um, you have you have spilled this drink, and uh, the 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 costume is. Uh, even more shabbily constructed than you first read. and it begins tearing off of Sisliss, which I don't believe was 
your intent. N- no, it your, definitely your was not. Was to clearly stop, make them do something. Uh, Sis Liz, uh, uh, it, it doesn't, it's it's a minor rip. It is not anything exposing or dangerous. However, Sis Liz, um, uh just essentially, essentially bellows the other two Gorn immediately stand up with uh, the chairs just kind of rocketing out from behind them. And, um, you know, they go, and, you know, wouldn't you know it, nobody has a UT um, other than your town badges, so they it's more fun to have the I practiced that this week. <laughs> but, um, um, you know, you insult us! No, 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 not at, not at all. That was not my intent. I was just uh, heading over to the Dabo tables, and I must have misjudged where I was stepping. It was completely my fault. I do apologize greatly. Please, let me let me get you and your compatriots uh, a, a glass of Canar, or, or whatever you'd like to drink. Hot bloods have no idea of what we like. We know we don't like you. Because they have three fingers, so they're going to go like that. Um, and, uh, you know, Sisliss is, um, a, well, actually, no, uh, Sildhist, um, the Niragorn, uh, this one, is about to kind of haul off and basically just beat the shit out of you. Uh, so what do you want to do about it? What does anyone want to do about it? This, this Gorn looks like he's, he's fixing to attack. He, you can recognize all the springing impulse. Uh, these Gorn are somewhat faster than the one that Kirk fought because our special effects and prosthetics makeup is better. Uh, they are, however, not the uh, they are not the CGI uh, variant that was much quicker. They're not the Raptor speed, um, but they're but they're very powerful and and reasonably quick. Um, but what do you guys want to do? Uh, if I see that it's, uh, that Slist is uh, is motioning an attack towards my captain. I have no choice but to step behind him and apply a nerve pinch. Well, this ought to go well. I'm, I'm going to have to look up some <clears throat> rules. What? I'm going to try to position myself a little bit closer to where the other Vulcan is, where I can keep an eye on him, but be closer to whatever action I might need to be involved in. Okay. In that case, uh, the question is, do you go up back around behind uh like Sobe and Jastar or around uh yeah, I'd say around kind of meander Slits. over in that way you know like there's enough action going on I think that I can move without being noticed too much oh yeah um well I just wanted to make sure you're going up and around and not down and around correct <clears throat> yeah that's fine per- okay and perhaps I should clarify but I am uh, I should position myself uh closer and behind Sliss, so yes. that if he perhaps takes off, or, or is it looks like he's about to take off towards the captain, and close okay. enough that I can just go. Okay. Now, Captain Roland, you have the final uh, set piece action. What do you wish to do or say? Um, keep in mind, you know, keep in mind this is Star Trek and not necessarily another role-playing game. <laughs> Just letting you know. Got it. Uh, let's see. And your security sucks. So it you're, really, you really will, does. It you really, really be, does. You'll be put up through the deck. Maybe I can create a little bit of a diversion. Uh, I still have my my glass, my, my, my empty cup of canar and go, gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, the service here isn't that bad. Please be patient. And then I'm going to chuck my, um, my glass towards Slist to kind of like throw him off guard. Because I mean, he's the one charging towards me. So. Oh, just just toss it to him. Or... Yeah, just to- toss it to no, him. Not, just... not, are you? Are, no, are not you like chuck it like a me? like a like an attack. Just kind of like a like a underhand. Like here you go. You can have my class. You're obviously impatient. Okay, uh, I like hey, uh, Captain the... Roland woke up this morning and chose violence. <laughs> <laughs> he came here today and he chose to spill drinks. Um, so, uh, what I need is a command and, uh, daring roll. 
uh, with at least uh, one success, and because it is Gorn Psychology, it has a 19 to 20 critical uh, failure range. Okay, this isn't that bad. Do I know how many successes I need? No, not really. I'll buy, uh, um, I'll, 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 I'll burn one momentum. All right. Man, I, I like the hidden success thing. I think that's not in the rules, by the way. Ah! Oh, and because I have cautious command, I can um, re-roll a single d20. Why are you being cautious? <laughs> um, I missed... Oh my goodness. That's... Could you guys I'm, reset I'm... that message, please? I uh, was just notating um, that uh, we got a skill bonus redeemed for myself via Deadpool. Thank you very much. Ah! Well, the one person that truly does not need it. Yeah. Yet. Um, yet. I got an 8, a 7, and a 4. All of those are below my threshold Whoa, of 13. That's 3, and I believe you. Uh, this was not an insignificant task um, to essentially befuddle, which I believe was your goal. Mm -hmm. Was to distract or befuddle. Uh, this list uh, just instinctively like tries to grab and fumble the glass because well let's face it they aren't the most fine muscle coordinated guys in the universe despite being a warp capable civilization somehow so uh so this is fumbling uh the thing it looks like he's distracted um and at that point um Solis, uh says we have no time for this and and just bark something else at him that's untranslatable um and and says Liz takes the glass and finally corrals up the glass in its in its claws in his claws and and manages to get it down up or actually looks at it like what the fuck mm -hmm. and then just drops it on the throws it on the ground in disgust now on their way out they do sisless leaves um Bahal, uh, you uh, you have the opportunity if you want uh, to make a another observation about the Gorn if you wish and you can choose to use your skill bonus or not since you get two two skill bonuses all right uh, so this is the same one as this the security and insight security and insight all right and because it's Gorn it's 19 critical yeah and you have to decide if you want to uh, buy dice or use the extra die or not. All right, so I get two, but I can use an extra one for my skill bonus. Is that correct? If you wish, yeah. yeah if you think it's that important. I'll do it. All right, I got uh, a one, a four, and an 18. Oh, congratulations. That's three. Uh, you needed one. You narrowly avoided uh, falling into your preconceptions as a closed-minded Andorian about other creatures. So congratulations on growing your tiny, frozen little mind a little bigger. And you notice this list is in increasing levels of um, discomfort or agony. And also there's something else odd. Uh, you can't understand. It's a weird thing with their gait. Um, uh, how they're walking and, and um, yeah that's that's and that's a it's a bit of a puzzle to you and also uh, you do notice uh, Taroth is keeping his eyes locked on uh, uh, Solis and not on the other two Gorn okay um I don't know if you want to spend a momentum to to gain additional to ask an additional question, or not. No, I'd like to kind of slide back over to the captain and inform him of these uh, enlightenments uh, while still keeping my eye on uh, the, the Tahoth yeah, guy the or this, this, the Vulcan. Yep. All right. Well, yeah, you never trust the Vulcan. That's just like a given. Yeah. For the Andorian High Guard. Um, by the way, uh, Captain Roland, uh, says Liz looks like he is he is going to walk straight through you on his way out. What would you like to do? Would you like to stand there and take it? Uh, make it a glancing blow or just skitter out of the way like a little frightened bunny? 
All right, so stop me if this is going to become a little bit too, um, like, uh, like fuck aroundy, but I'd like to, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd like to move out of the way and take off my com badge and see if I can't, like, sneak it onto his back somewhere. You got a keister? Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, I would go with it being a, uh, probably a daring insecurity check. Okay, that's um. Those are your fighter thief skills. That's cool. Oh, uh, you know cool? what? You, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna stand true. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm um, just gonna slide it into his pocket, essentially. Goran apparently yep. not have pockets, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about like taking a spike and just jamming it into him. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I'm going to um, I'm gonna burn a momentum for an extra die because it's been working out for me so far. Okay. <laughs> Except so it has dip. to keep working. <laughs> um, this will cost you. This will be a uh, challenge of two. So you're gonna take a momentum out of the group pool to fail. Well, I didn't give us any complications. Oh, good. I got a ten, a seventeen, and a fourteen. So I got one. Yeah, that's that's not a uh, not a success. You, you, basically, you do, you do manage to surreptitiously pull the badge off your chest, and begin moving toward you, toward him. Homer says, "Let's has a head of steam, and he does outweigh you by about twice." So he is, he is a force of nature. He is, he has barreled past you and, and clipped your shoulder. Yeah. I mean, just as that, yeah, that, that, that general flexing on you. Um, you didn't have any injury, but he needed to assert some sort of a, mm -hmm. a dominance back on you. Um, this, however, knocked your hand off the trajectory towards his pocket. Got it. So it's like, mm, it was close, but it, it was a worthy attempt for a deceptive little primate, but uh, not so not so helpful. Now, um, what will happen is uh, they exit the uh, scene. And I'm going to, let me see, how do I clone this? All right, I'm going to have them exiting the scene. And that leaves you, Captain Roland, with at least not a total uh, diplomatic catastrophe upon you. And they have left the bar uh, with some one of them appearing to be in some sort of distress. Well, that worked out just like it did back in the academy. <laughs> okay. Uh, has the Vulcan uh, reacted since they've actually left? Um, the Vulcan look does appear to be preparing to <clears throat> get on and follow them out. <laughs> is um is is <laughs> is the commander still kind of standing back there close to him? Uh, the commander. No, I believe the commander was. Uh, he may have to correct me if I'm wrong. He was, he was, once things had become clear, he wasn't, uh, going to be, uh, having to engage in, uh, since he wasn't going to be engaged in attacks, uh, he decided to slide back slightly. Hey. Well, welcome, welcome new Raiders. Yeah. Yeah, 3B <coughs> Radio, what's up? How are we all doing, Raiders? Welcome to our Star Trek adventure. Call me just in time to choke. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, everybody, well, spam hearts in the chat what, for uh, for the Raiders. Isn't that what all isn't that what all Andorians truly do when the crisis <laughs> comes? They choke. Yep. They, they no, they don't choke. They freeze up. Hey, just know every single time that you raid the Lords and Ladies of Fate, one of us will choke for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually me. It's usually me. We are strong. We will. We will choke. We will bunt. So, um, what we have is uh, the uh, you the all right to catch everybody up. A series of three mysterious Gorn have exited the premises. One who seems to be actually in physical uh, distress and not being who they uh, seem to be and trying to hide. They're being followed by a mysterious uh, Vulcan. And our captain has managed to spill a drink upon in a very uh, fashion and also do some slap, what we call slapstick comedy in the 20th century. 
Um, Bahal, you were going to kind of stay out the way. Yeah. Uh, as I recall, you were going to stay like in a place where you can get an overview rather than a direct engagement. Am I reading that correctly? Correct. Now that the situation has passed and I've seen that the guy looks like he's preparing to leave, I want to kind of slip by the captain, uh, mm -hmm. si like quietly tell him what I saw uh, with okay. the odd behavior and um, uh, and then kind of keep moving past as if I'm like not necessarily directly involved with them. Okay, where would you be heading to if you're going to be heading into the middle of an open bar area? <clears throat> there are two Starfleet officers over there. Um, I was already over by them, so I'll probably go over and try to find an empty table. Okay. Just to kind of, um, you know, just like keep myself out of the, the middle of everything. Nothing, nothing at all suspicious. Just <laughs> relocating to a new table, yeah. folks. Because Andorians need their space. <laughs> your, your bodies are too hot to be near us. Uh, so we're going to slap you down there between <clears throat> Sobe and Jastar. I'm counting on the fact that all this um, other commotion has far distracted the, everybody from my random milling about. It definitely has distracted Toluth. Uh, Captain, you are now caught up on all the information that Bahal has uh, gathered. Sivik, uh, you... Uh, thanks to your uh, wonderful ears also have been privy to the conversation that was whispered if that if that's acceptable hmm. i don't know if at... civic peaks mm -hmm. i'm going to look at um uh the lieutenant commander and say do you think you could get any information out of your vulcan friend back there back there he's walking out the front door sir yeah actually yeah. he is um, I'm going to... Perhaps you could try your brilliant plan with the comm badge. Oh, that's actually a very good idea. I'm going to go ahead and try to do the exact <laughs> same thing, but this time... <laughs> I fail as a as he's succeed. walking by. <laughs> I got a comm badge in my hand, and by God, it's going with somebody. It's going home with somebody tonight. It's not closing time, gentlemen. It's o'clock in the morning at Modine's. <laughs> oh, good lord. Well, um, you humans, you'll stick with it. You'll keep piling those stones into a pyramid shape, no matter what I tell you. Yes? Can I uh, roll in a, uh, a die to assist the captain? Uh, as one of my talents, even though it has absolutely nothing to do uh, between the actual talent of this or the skill of the talent, uh, however, it is named Miracle Worker. Why do oh, you need a man. miracle? Yeah, and I'll Captain like does require a miracle. Um. Oh yeah, you know, I, if I had the sombrero where I can pick back and say, "I'll allow it." Um, this is definitely playing to the spirit of of this. Your improvisational comedy is going to have to become part of your. Uh, your skill set at this point. <laughs> However, you and the captain have, as we pointed out, worked together in the past. So this is sort of like, hey, remember Epsilon 12? Hmm? Really? He gets, oh. he gets my tomfoolery. He gets your tomfoolery. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to assist, uh, in what way would you be attempting to assist a man slapping a comm badge on the back of a Vulcan's head? Uh, I'm... <sighs> create a diversion. Mm. Ah yes, uh, I'll step in front of uh, the the other Vulcan or supposed alleged Vulcan, as you've been alluding to, um, or a shadow, and, and step in front of him and <laughs> and just greet him with "Live long and prosper, brother." Um, uh, the uh, the other Vulcan is there's actually. You know, only noticeable, obviously, to a Vulcan, a, a flicker of the fuck uh, on his face, and uh, fleeting, uh, but nonetheless there. And for perhaps 22 milliseconds longer than a normal Vulcan with regular discipline would have exhibited, a Colonar Master could get that down to like 0.1 seconds, milliseconds, but... This guy, this person uh, had a, a much larger variance between getting that and the getting their emotions under control. Mm. Um, and he, and he, and he you know, 
peace and long life. And then he immediately turns uh, to go. At this point, I feel he is sufficiently distracted uh, that someone can attempt a security and daring uh, check uh, at two. And I am going to, even being assisted, I am going to buy another die with momentum. Oh, actually, yeah. Go ahead and, uh, 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 JD, your, this would be, hmm, I don't know what bamboozle is. Um, let's go with uh, uh, security and daring. We're stretching the rules of Star Trek Adventures. <laughs> what rules? What oh. rules do I ask you are Star Trek Adventures? It's roll dice. That's I'm lucky a... I remember the dice number. That's a fail with a 17. Well, that's fine, because I got it this time with a 6, an 8, and an 18. All right. So exactly as you needed. You only needed four dice to do that. What were your targets, by the, cha- by the way? Uh, 10 for me. Oh! oh. Nine. Oh man, I love security challenges. I have seen many more in your future. (laughs) Now we understand the reason for having the trill around. We need our medical officer. She's the best at security. (laughs) She seems. (laughs) And engineering. And engineering. (laughs) I do not know what part of the academy she went through. And medicine. She. I'm gonna add some. No, I already actually checked her numbers. Her numbers actually all statted out correctly. I don't know how she managed it, but she got a bard. <laughs> she got a bard. So, she got a bard. Um, so uh, Toluth does have a uh, your com badge on him, um, and the nice part is that allows him access to all parts of the station that are high security. So congratulations on that. Well, you know, he'd have to know that, right? He he would. Or it would make any rolls. He just happens to walk by a door and it opens. Huh, wonder what's in here. It opens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the Federation secrets. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. On Starbase uh, G14. Yes, this is... Uh, you took delivery... Well, no, I'm not going to say that. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, you Are you guys going to go outside to follow up on this badge thing? I'd like to secretly you, tail him. Uh, Absolutely, yes. I think I think we should we should uh, absolutely do that. Uh, uh, are we close? Are we close to the time where we need to meet with the admiral? You have an hour. Yeah, this is two minutes of playtime. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well then I you think. Have, uh, I think we should yes. follow this up. Pull out our uh, uh, our tricorders and start following my com badge. All right. So what I'm going to say is uh, do not link, and I'm going to pile Larry, Mo, and Curly out into the. Corridor. Boop. Uh, I'm moving you through the doorway. Is that acceptable? Absolutely. Okay, I just want to make sure because, again, uh, I don't want to just jam you through this. Again, things. being the highest this security, the I would probably try to insert myself and my dominance by jumping ahead. All right. Uh, I'm going to skitter you over there behind a nearby pillar because there are lots of architectural features to hide behind on any Starfleet Starbase. <laughs> I've noticed that completely all the time. So you were on a deck. This is a market area and large lounge or known as a mall for short. Sula so Benaros. You have a Sula Benaros. <laughs> I love that. The <laughs> F&M Holo Suites, uh, Build a Horda <laughs> and uh, Kazon Jewelers. <laughs> are on this deck um, and you see that it, uh, Tuloth is also uh, surreptitiously following uh, the Gorn um, you notice that uh, Sislis, uh the, the Gorn with the mustache is making their way and now it is becoming obvious to everyone they are making their way painfully slowly uh, uh, down, the, down the corridor and are uh, moving, you know, and, and moving that way. Uh, the other two, uh, Gorn, are increasingly on edge and alert about this, uh, about, you know, just watching out, seeing what happened, especially after Captain Roland. This could be because Captain Roland basically put them all up. Because that's what you humans do. You just F around and find out, don't you? Yes. I think I think there is an actual fuck around and find out course at the Academy. It's literally I, what it's called. I believe that was taught by Lieutenant Commander. Uh, that was taught by uh, 
Sulu's uh, daughter. Yes. <laughs> and anyone in chat who wants to uh, put out Sulu's daughter's name, I would be happy to hear it. Just to let you know if you're true fans. We'll reward fate chips for that. I'm going to... We should actually do more Star Trek trivia as we go, because that, that that's how we hook kids with real <laughs> trivia. History. Got to do history. Um, also, I'll start smoking a cigar. So um, what you've got is, I believe part of it is, oh, wow. What I'm going to say is I wasn't too far off my guess. All right. Um, at this point, they're they're moving down the corridor. I don't know if there's anything you want to do at this point other than continue to tail them. Lightly tail, yep. Lightly tail. Um, ironically, Gorns do not have tails. Just a little bit of Starfleet trivia there for you. And, uh, oh, I want to do this so bad. I'm going to put this up, and you guys don't need to see it. Let me see. Paste. Yeah, you don't need to see that. All right. Boop. All right. You have, uh, they get to, uh, the Gorn actually reach a store called Build a Horse. which is a, a store which sells large geodes that you then fill with hot magma and you can buy them cute outfits. I'm not getting anything from you guys. You're not, you're not rolling with this. <laughs> so anyway, um, inside, uh, the Gorn, <laughs> for no apparent reason, uh, decide to go into, uh, to go into the Build a Horda. I had to refresh my uh, screen to catch my uh, catch my bad self up. And outside, uh, the uh, Vulcan is hanging outside of it and watching the Gorn. The Gorn are all agitated and are uh, moving on this, uh, looks like to be a Tellarite. Uh, Sislis is specifically heading towards the Tellarite. So I don't quite know where you guys are far enough down the corridor. You're not in the picture yet. Could, could we use my com badge that's on the Vulcan to listen in on what's going on? You can listen in on what uh, Taloth is having uh, thoughts about and the rustling of his hair. He's okay. he's outside of the he's he's actually outside of the the. Uh, the the uh, he's out actually in the the mall area outside Got of the it. opening, so and as you can see, this is the two mall and this space is the opening space. The rest of it is closed, and then there are various display cases and bins where you can get rocks and uh, teeny tiny TOS uniforms and nun outfits. <laughs> but you can you can. Um, well, actually, uh, man, there's no such thing as a luck roll. I really hate this system. Um, you do over here, um, uh, this, this person, uh, uh, saying, you know, agent one objective insight, prepare to move. Hmm. Uh, and I'm um, sorry. We heard the uh, the 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 Vulcan say yeah, that. Yeah, you heard the Vulcan say that over okay. over into what you presume to be a comm device, unless they they're in the habit of talking to themselves. I'm gonna look at the commander and go. Is is this when we step in? Uh, no, sir. Uh, at least if well, there's two of us, you're gonna have to specify, but. <laughs> That's Mr. Commander to you. Yeah. Christian, Lieutenant, that's Lieutenant Commander. Hey, do you really want me to start throwing rank around? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant I've, Commander. I've heard you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> I believe that is our goal. That's, that's just the way things work, man. That is how it works. Uh, walk with me. Once you say walk with me, then I know, then you know shit's real. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> uh, Technically, Scroll. nothing's been uh, done yet. I could walk by him and and pour some canar on him. 
<laughs> I think I'm the least obvious of the three. So maybe, uh... uh you guys kind of hold back for now. I can I can be okay with that. Uh, Commander, I, I... I... Let you take the lead on this. Okay, Bahal, you've been training all your life for this. <laughs> Um, you got this. You got this, Charlene. You got this. I'll, I'll go in just kind of very quietly, like uh, kind of keeping myself to, uh, to Nar's back. <laughs> We're in the mall. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> Slinking along yeah, the wall. Kind of, you, know, uh, <laughs> and, you know, pick up a rock or two, you know, fiddle around with the new, the new Ford. The new Fords are in. They're early this year. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how do they get him inside the mall? I, I want to stay close, but kind of like not within his spectrum right. of view. So, um, well, currently, uh, just to like give you a position, positional awareness, mm -hmm. you are outside of the entrance to build a Horda. You haven't gone inside yet. Mm -hmm. He is hovering outside, kind of watching in. Okay. Um, I didn't know where you wanted to be, because I did understand you were you were working on browse, uh, on browsing. I just want to let you know where you physically were. Well, and if where he, he has is. not entered in, then I probably just want, want to stay uh, close, but not enough to alert my presence to him. Okay. You do have eyes on him. Uh, you've decided that about two meters is a, is a good distance uh, from him. Um, you're hovering around the other, the opposite opening uh, to the mall. And... Um, he does not seem to notice you because he is he's definitely intent and very specifically on Sisliss. Um and uh Sisliss is um uh going and approaching uh this the uh, Tellerite comes out and uh, because there's windows everywhere you can at least see the physical action and you do hear vaguely over the comm pickup and also the Andorian uh you'll hear Wow, good. Oh, wait, what? you're here? Oh, can I show you anything in in a, our, our special edition uh, geodes? This is this is amazing. I um, you'll have to see them. Their anniversary edition from when Spock mind melded that time. And uh, yeah, so you've got. Uh, O'Connor who's really kind of messed up uh, in terms of surprise and shock at what's happening um, and uh, at this point uh, to off moves into the uh, uh, moves into the build a horda very quickly I will follow suit um, do you do you want to follow suit? Do you want to intercept or just follow suit? Uh, follow suit and stay directly like behind him, basically. Yeah, out of out of eyeline. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is there anything the valiant crew wants to do, Captain? You are leading from behind, as <laughs> is the best of Starfleet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of motion to Civic to kind of like move up a little bit and we'll kind of go around the corner to where we can keep an eye on what's going on in the store without drawing too much attention to ourselves. So basically, uh, I believe, Captain, I believe the phrase is snaking. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just basically going to Scooby Doo this. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we did the Dick Van Dyke. We're going to do the Scooby Doo. I'm going to cool pull right. the mask off. <laughs> All right. Oh, and the head comes. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins. Old man Boothby. Yeah. <laughs> he's 8472. Um, all right. So, uh that's a little bit of trivia. I have no idea who's left from that raid. I think nobody is is <laughs> this from that raid. They've thrown it to us and we have pissed it away. I don't even want to know. All right, I'm never looking back. I have no capes. Um, at this point, Talaf enters. Um, you are behind him. Sisilis and Siljis have, uh, they've locked eyes and they are both moving to attack to off at this point. And actually, well, actually, no. Sisilis is moving to attack Bahal. 
and uh, so this is moving to attack to Hoff. So this is going to be for hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is security and daring as a as a, an attack. So um, I don't know what you want to do at this point. Um, and also, I don't know how far out Captain Ravik and Civic. You just see things starting to go to shit in there. If I see... You do have phaser. No, you don't have phaser. If I see them moving in to attack, then I probably will try to uh, uh, disable uh, the Vulcan myself and try to play friend. Oh, really? You're going to attack the Vulcan? I, I just want to double check. Yeah. Right? That's the correct just, thing? Just okay. to stop him from moving like aggressively. Doing yeah. something. Uh, restrain yeah, him. Restrain something? him is what the word I'm looking Restrain him. Okay. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, this is all narrative. So you really do decide how you want to do it. You don't have to worry about picking an action uh, off of a menu. Yeah, I don't trust the volume. Um, so, so, gonna... you know. so, yeah. Oh, don't. Yeah. So um, you make an attempt to grab him, and this will be a difficulty one against security and uh, daring. All right. So that's a 16 for me. I do believe I have an extra die still from my. I believe you do. At least one. Did you I, I did the use one? the other one. Um, All right. Well, thank you for uh, providing that for our our uh, officer. Yeah, hopefully, this isn't going to blow up my face. Uh, three successes: a seven, a nine, and an eleven. Ooh. All right. Seven, nine, eleven. Three successes. He also has a counter roll, but he only achieved two successes. So he is uh, well, and also the fact he's unaware. Um, you do put him in this uh, what, what we will call a rather devious joint lock. Um, so yeah, you guys know what you need to do. Um, you put him in a rather devious joint lock. Sis Liz and uh, Sil just do not stop coming at him. Or you, Well, you're next to him, so sure. you're both uh, there. Um, Civic and Roland, what do you wish to do? Now's a good time, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Any time. Oh, I say you just let him get cut to pieces like your security guard, security officer would. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush in there and go. What seems to be the problem here? Oh my goodness, you, you two again. <laughs> we need to stop meeting like this. So we really are going full rom-com at this point <laughs> with Captain Roland. Uh, what uh, you're saying it to Vahal and Artruf? To the Gorn. The Gorn? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're not on their good side. You <laughs> no, realize. no, I, okay. I know. I'm gonna hopefully they see. Hopefully they see me and they and they they start coming after me. Okay, I'm gonna need. Um, so pres do you guys have presence on your character sheet? I do. Okay, that's that's charisma. Um, I would. I have not translated. I have not translated this game to my brain at all. Um, I need presence and command because you're just putting your chest out and your hands on your hips and giving a talk. <laughs> this we're we're now now we're finally playing into what my character does the best. We're speechifying. Uh, you're probably these are these are some surly gorn. It's gonna be exactly uh, like lower be... decks last season or last episode. <laughs> yes, it is. drumhead. Uh, um, this I'm is gonna, gonna be uh, two successes, please. I'm gonna burn a, uh, a momentum. momentum. Okay. And command and presence, and and I have cautious command, so I have an out if I need it. You are seriously just playing it safe. All right, so I've got a 5, a 13, and a 17, so that's two successes. I will re-roll the 17. And it comes back a 19. A 5. Damn. <laughs> oh, the Q is so disappointed. How could you come out of it net positive, net, uh, net neutral? However, not neutral, because the two Gorn are, are stunned by your presence and, and, like, not sure what to do at this point. She's gonna um, throw glasses at me again. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is starting to look at you very. Uh, list I think, was the one you threw the glasses at. Uh, definitely has locked eyes with you, and and has that that sort of raptor like, you know, 
and the head what? tilt and the eye the eye going around like this uh to get a really serious look at you and uh you'd swear that she was he was flexing on you shooter <laughs> she's putting you on a list right now <laughs> yeah how many more uh jurassic park quotes can i fit in oh you need to say life um Oh Mine's no! Away. Actually, I can't. I can't. I can't. I hate to say it. I can't use that because that would be cliched. <laughs> um, however, since Liz like is ignoring. By the way, you've noticed since Liz has always kept track of uh, the other, the male, the uh, uh, those identified as male very carefully, and is not. Uh, since Liz and O'Connor are immediately leaving the area. While you have this situation under under some sort of control, Civic, you, you everyone else is occupied. So Civic, you notice they are going through the door to the back room immediately. Indeed, uh, and that Sis Liz is uh, is walking very uh, in a very troubled way, like just obviously in pain and difficulty. And you said it's both Sliss and O'Connor going into the back. Room. So Sliss and O'Connor. Uh, is O'Connor, is, yeah. is o- O'Connor walking with the same expediency as Sliss? O'Connor is absolutely clearing the way. All right. Um, seeing as how my my captain see, uh, has a hand on the situation. I am going to uh, continue the investigation and follow Sliss and O'Connor. Okay. Uh, you follow them through the door. Uh, I'm going to paste scene two. Holy shit, there's things you don't need to know. Uh, again, this is what happens when the continuum has to sort of make do, as it were. Um, so Sliss, uh, you uh, come through the door. How are you coming through the door? Because the door kind of, you know, it's a Star Trek door. Even though there's no reason for the door to be powered, it's going to go. Psh. As a matter of fact, it's going to gonna probably sound a little bit. So what? Uh, yeah. So the door opens in a rather heavy way and closes behind you. Uh, do you walk through the door? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you walk through the door? Which was not a uh-huh kind of response. I walk through the door. Okay. The air of pungent mildew fills the room. Civic, you come in to O'Connor. You come into a Build-A-Bear, or a, <laughs> sorry, a Build-A-Horn, a stock room. And there are Avengers outfits, Harry Potter robes, <clears throat> and EOS merchandise lining the walls. The um, uh, Sisliss is on the ground in agony and uh, is is just going um, and now that you're closer I need a science and perception roll. I'm sorry, a science and... Uh, I'm sorry, a science insight. and insight roll. <laughs> oh, God, I'm an asshole. Sorry, guys. All right. <laughs> a target of 11. I can need at least one success. Uh, an 18. Yeah! And an 8. All right. You now know why this Gorn looks very different. In addition to being female... I figured that's where that was going. Why are you going to ruin the fun here? <laughs> <laughs> something against motherhood and a hot a hot lunch for orphans. I um, Sis Liz looks like uh, it is a she, since we now have identified biologically it's a she in disguise. Uh, the mustache is kind of the wax is coming off because uh, of the stress. Um, uh, and she is starting to deliver. Uh, babies. Um, now, things to know about the Gorn. They are, and I'm going to go with this for science sake, because this is Star Trek. They're ovoviviparous. And I'm going to give that to the kids. All right? <laughs> this is your homework for this week. Where's, where's Bruce Gaskin when you need him? 
No. I saw him lurking. Uh, is anyone in? Is anyone left in the chat room? Yes. Oh yeah. Do we have friends in the chat room? Does anyone in the chat room? Do you puny minds without using Google happen to know what Ovo by Vaporous means? No. Well, not you guys. I know you're you're hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> you're just basically talent for the screen. We have a wild Bruce Gaskin. Yes, what is the wild first Bruce of the wall. Like cool Does man. he know the answer to the question? I feel like he should because you know he did that uh, whole ranger thing for a while there. National parks. Ranger Gaskin. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, I was definitely listening to the question, which means he heard nothing. Uh, I got the correct spelling. Do I need to make it bigger for those who are <laughs> yes, tiny uh, sided? Crewman Gaskin, would you happen <laughs> to know the definition of Ovoviparius? If I say it that correctly. I don't think he's going to know. It's very possible he might. Given that you can Google this in about a hot second. Yeah. I confirmed it was what I thought yeah. it was, at least. <laughs> he said something to do with eggs. Very helpful. Yep. Well, you. that was the o the ovo part of that kind of gave it away. We have, we have tried to make this science fiction. <laughs> no, I'm just going to bring out magic wizards with light, light swords Somebody now. You know. Might as well. That's a yeah, Thursday. So, ovoviviparous means that the eggs are hatched inside the parent. Ooh. Much the same as sharks. And other other uh, reptilian species on our planet, on your blessed little blue ball that you think is so important. Um, so, yes, uh, the the eggs hatch inside the, the mother. And Sislis uh, is in clear distress because, um, what is your medical skill? One. Yeah, that's good. You know what they teach? They teach some amazing shit at the academy. Also, I'm going to introduce a mechanic that could be the end of our entire system of joy here. <laughs> and it's called succeed at a cost, where you can simply say, I'm taking a complication because I need this to work. Okay. But you can also roll against uh, reason and medicine to see if you uh, understand what might be happening. That's actually not my worst uh, target yet. I believe your reason is a, a very solid thing. You it can is. So tar tar target of 12. We have a 6 and a 17. Okay. This is what's happening. There's a, uh, uh, it appears to be there's a complication, as there is in all dramatic births uh, that are presented on television in this era. So uh, there's something happening with the, the children. There's a problem with the children. Why do I feel like we walked in on some, like, 24th century episode of Maury Povich? Quite possibly, yeah. <laughs> uh, and if they have pointed little ears, you you're going to have Not the problem. father. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You Talon, you are the father. Yeah. <laughs> so, upon making this realization, uh, I still have my tricorder, and I'm hoping it has at least uh, uh, base uh, a small medical uh, knowledge or amount of yes. knowledge on it. Uh, I'm going to start scanning. Yes. Um, and do we all remember that episode uh, of? Uh... Worf delivering a human child on the holodeck. I don't think I saw that. Did, one wasn't that um? Wasn't that uh? uh didn't did, did, didn't he give birth? Didn't he birth uh, uh Molly uh uh? uh birth Molly O'Brien. O'Brien, yeah. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Anyone mm -hmm. who wants to throw that out there, no, don't tell us. We don't know what our stories are. We're good. You need to watch us, people, because I don't want to do any more commercials for uh. Bimbro. <laughs> All right. So um, what we can do is, uh, here's the deal. You're it. Uh, Ensign Civic, or Engineer, Mr. Civic, uh, you're not Ensign. I would somehow demoted the hell out of you, <laughs> sir. 
I apologize. For that, you get an extra die roll on your next roll because I've insulted you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so uh, there is uh, the tricorder prescribes one method for um, uh, possibly alleviating this issue. And it does involve uh, helping turn the infants because they are all balled up and can't escape the entrance because all of them are in a line pushing or in a ball pushing. Uh, so I'm afraid you need to uh, go into the Gorn, a into the Gorn's cloaca and turn uh, turn the infants. Infants. I'm so glad I took tactical side of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I had to rush in and help you because I don't want to give birth to a baby. Oh, I need to find out. While you're deciding, sir, I'll we'll name outside. the first one after you. Civic. Civic. <laughs> well, perhaps I'll be able to pronounce my name correctly. <laughs> so, um, uh, Sislis and uh, Sisters uh, have both. So, I gotta get rid of these guys. Sorry about this. No, the store is moving. Where's moved? This is like that shifting walls paradigm. Um, you, uh, Bahal, you actually have this guy here under your control, and he's being held. Um, Bahal, you notice I've got this uh, one. You get the other two. Him, you get the <laughs> other two. They're they're pausing and like just just sort of like raptor and out. Um, you do notice, Bahal, you do notice that there is a disruptor. Uh, on this person. Oh. Uh, now you're fully occupied restraining them at this point, so it's up to you how you want to call attention to this situation. Captain, he's got a disruptor. A... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you doing, Roland? You got to search. I'm gonna, for I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach in there and I'm gonna grab the disruptor. All is right. It, is it? Oh, that it... wasn't his disruptor. <laughs> <laughs> um, do 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 I notice the make? Uh, it appears to be uh, a disruptor that's designed to evade ship, uh, evade Starbase and uh, Starfleet sensors. Uh, specifically designed to evade security. Uh, may I, yes, it's may made I of rubber. Something uh, I, I, I believe it's what it's... my captain was alluding to is do we know its origin? Like what species would have built this? A human disruptor or a Romulan disruptor? or. It would be an Andorian disruptor. It wasn't me. Oh, interesting. It was. Yeah. Paul, oh, not an Andorian. I Paul, Damn it. All right. Um. <laughs> um. Mahal, you get an extra die in the next one because I screwed up. So, um, and, and that will carry over to the next next uh, show if we do not use it here. Um, it is an Orion disruptor. Oh, okay. Interesting. We're in the Orion syndicate up in here. Okay. Um, I'm going to reach across and grab the the, the disruptor. Um, okay. And I'm going to just kind of hold it, hold it out and start kind of like doing one of these kind of things towards the, the Gorn. Gorn. Towards the Gorn? Towards, towards, towards pretty you're much everybody here. And I'm gonna... You're putting a weapon at the Gorn. I'm going to, I'm going to keep going back and forth between the, the the Vulcan and the Gorn, and I'm going to say, on behalf of the, the Federation, everyone is going to tell me <clears throat> what is going on here. Okay, you. Uh, Sislet, uh, Sislist is, is going to be the talkative one because that actor was paid to memorize lines because he needed to react to you. Uh, so just was just a suit actor for the day. So he is in the corner, just sort of like hovering. Uh, so the higher paid actor uh, is going to uh, uh, say, you know, we have to stop the assassin. I'm going to go, yeah. and is is this the assassin? And I'm going to take the disruptor and point it directly at the, the Vulcan. Uh, yeah, and he, he basically nods. You know, like a, a, a thing like this. Also, he says, I can bite his head off now, yes? No, no, no. L listen, listen, listen. Um, this is a Federation matter now. Um, 
we're not going to have any head biting. Um, I want to go ahead and we're, we're going to take this, uh, this guy into custody. And, and you, you, you two Gorn. Yes, you, I will take his head into the custody of my jaws. No, 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 as no, no, no. It's tradition and the hegemony. Well, here's the thing. You're on a Federation star base, so you are subject to Federation rules and regulations. Uh, if this uh, person has committed a crime against you, uh, we will persecute him to the fullest extent of Federation law. Uh, but if you attempt to bite his head off, you too will also be <laughs> in direct violation of Federation statute 47.1b, <laughs> which specifically states no one may bite the head off of another person on a star base. Without their consent. Without their consent, exactly. And I'm going to assume, <laughs> Mr. Vulcan, that we do not have your consent. He's, like he just stares at you balefully, uh, as the as 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 all uh, sort of Vulcans do. Um, says Lis uh, or Sil is just. Oh my God! Why did I write these names? <laughs> so this just uh, actually. Uh, uh, exposes like part of his uh, he, he pulls down his collar a bit and shows like some really crude protoplaster reconstruction of part of his neck and, and actually part of his police box which explains why he's been silent um, he says he has harmed us um, so there's there's part of that um, but you need a uh, you need some captain in you need some some uh, Federation speechifying roles. So we're, we're looking at what command and presence. That works for me. He's just gonna he's just, just gonna roll through this. Uh, I think you need a you need two successes uh, to stop the vengeance factor. Let's go ahead and buy a momentum so I can use my cautious command. I mean buy of die with momentum. Oh right, you got a tri trigger. Can I, uh... um, and also complication rate is a nineteen. Sorry, uh, Bob, I was going to offer to assist by mentioning that uh, once we take him into custody, they can take this up with the uh, the ambassadors uh, to sort this out. And, and... Oh, and then you name the ambassador. What is the ambassador's name? Um, anybody in chat want to help out with that one? I was going to say, chat, name the ambassador. Give us a good ambassador name. This is your time to shine, Do chat. It. Otherwise, this is just watching a podcast, yeah. and those suck. <laughs> Podcasts suck. Yeah. They're precious. <laughs> precious. Plus, we have a 30 second delay. Yep. <laughs> Lord Fungus. Lord Fungus. What? How is that? All right, there's going to be some Z's and S's in that. Hey, look, you asked. <laughs> yeah. You were seeing what? Sometimes, sometimes when you ask the internet for a name, they give you something like Bodie McBoatface. Um,. So and I believe Sir David Attenborough would be so proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he um, did change it. He said Lord Fungus. Very good. Yep. No, nope. we just got to stay somewhat near the theme. Let us know you're still involved and engaged and happy. <laughs> um, so Lord uh, Lord Fungus, which is good because, you know, you have a high ranking Gorn. Uh, so you've named it, uh, and uh, Bahal, you have a one die against your command and, well, yeah, your command and presence. Three, six, and 12, all of which fall underneath my uh, 15 needed. Shh, you're beast today. How did we do? The uh, the assist was not so much. Uh, I was supposed to get a 14, I got a 15. Oh, I was hoping for a 19 just to, just to do it. <laughs> just to make them in a blood feud with Lord, uh, what was it? Fungus. Lord Fungus. Lord Fungas. Um, however, you do stay uh, the the uh, the Gorn's hand, or a claw, as it were, and you both all hear from the back room, even through the soundproof door, uh, the the sound of a a rather loud bellow and rasp. Um. Uh, which is which? I don't know if you want to go. Now these guys are. Uh, so just is going to nod to this list and head to the back room immediately. Hmm. I'm I'm going to look at uh, the commander and say, 
Um, or do you feel do you feel comfortable taking this uh, uh, this Vulcan into the authorities? Absolutely. And, um, like I'll I'm going to go see what... and throw it back to him. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm gonna, I'll fix it back. I'm like I almost for, almost forgot about that. Thank you, no. Commander. Uh, what would I do without you? Oh, you'd have to buy a lot more cards. Rules are the rules. Right? Quartermaster yes. would uh, be very, very displeased with me. Uh, there, there are some that theorize. theorize. There are some that theorize that Captain Sykes is in fact the reason why we have replicators. <laughs> again, um, and again, uh, shout out to the player, uh, Matt Tushabi, for using his character's uh, values as part of his role play. And as such, the group gains an additional point of momentum. Ooh. That can be used like, I'm really egregiously bending this, but basically when you start playing a character, things start stacking up. So Captain Roland, you are following, uh, so just- mm -hmm. I wanna go see what's going on in the, the back room here. And you both come, uh, let me see, copy, paste, copy, paste, uh, and I'm going to do this, take that, Google. Yeah, Google. Um, be evil, because I did do that in a lecture. As a multimedia tech, I will tell you about how that went. Um, meanwhile, Civic is hovering over. You come in. Uh, so just here's uh, so, so bellowing and in and, and obvious pain and distress and comes, you know, comes, uh, rushes uh, Sivik, who is hovering over her and, and who knows what the Gordon's thinking at this point, but it probably ain't good uh, since then Sig's taken over. O'Connor is uh, standing by, essentially not taking any action and just kind of like horrified by the whole thing. And uh, Roland, uh, what do you wish to do? You're the, the actor here. I'm gonna walk in and go, oh my, oh, <laughs> Commander, you seem to have this under control. I'm gonna go somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what? Okay. Commander, what are you, what, what, it seems, oh, oh my, is this, is this Cap born Captain, giving as birth? I, as, as I understand, uh, <clears throat> per, per Starfleet Protocol 8343B, uh, uh, you have better medical training than I. And oh, I think we <laughs> have the same amount of medical training. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're right there on the spot. You're, you're Vulcan on the spot, man. You're uh, a spot on the spot. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, oh, well... For the uh, record, for, I, for the I, record feel... I said he should have. Yeah, yeah. He should have. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go with this. Uh, I kinda, would I the kinda... captain be better talking the Gorn out of not panicking? Oh, yeah. I'll go I'll go over and, and say, look, I know we got off on the the, the wrong foot with the spilling the canar. Oh, I, look, I had no idea that I had, yeah, I had no idea that you were... Uh, you were uh, uh, pregnant, but uh, it's going to be okay. Just calm down and oh, remember you're your breathing. You're, you're doing some Gorn Lamas. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> don't, don't, don't make me fire a diamond cannon into your chest. <laughs> uh, oh, I was thinking you were going to take Nurse's Jizz, but okay. I like the idea of your, your basically holding the Gorn's giant paw. Mm -hmm, uh, exactly, it is exactly. Easily, it is easily, I will say, it is easily twice as big as yours. Um, and Civic, you are, well, you're, you're Spock on the spot, as it were. You're Spock on the spot here. Um, there is a cloaca, there is a bit of a slit, and there is a, a bit of a little three-inch screen that has a very intricate diagram that all looks like the Texas Rangers logo <laughs> down there. Indeed. Um, indeed. You're gonna... Uh, I you swear just... I'm, I'm an adult, I swear. But I lost, <laughs> it when, I lost it when you said there is a little slit there. There is a bit of a slit. Um, I don't want to be too graphic because children could be watching. It better not be. No, you're not supposed to say. be. We are boned if you are. 
I'm like children, if you are watching, please, your your please. mommy's purse is downstairs. Grab the credit card. Sure. You're gonna want to sign up for Twitch and we want that and we want the numbers off the back. That's the most important number. <laughs> Get those back numbers, kids. Um, but yeah, so uh, uh, Civic has not yet. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm just letting you know. I'm not going to put your hand anywhere you do not put it. Uh, well, as it happens, <laughs> this uh, is a matter of life and death. So and, just well, it... yes, knowing uh, knowing that uh, knowing what is necessary for uh, for the offspring to be delivered and to uh, save the life of it of the mother, uh, I have no choice but to continue my assistance. Uh, so I would like to go ahead and. Uh, you, and if I may, <clears throat> uh, Q, this is going to be a little bit of a stretch. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of a slit, but inside it's all still just geometry. So using my focus of warp field dynamics, I want to reach my hands in there. How big do you see the matter? I want to have a discussion with you later offline about anatomy. <laughs> It's a plasma conduit. I, uh, man, I would use my EPS conduits uh, power rather than that. <laughs> use EPS waveguides. Is that good? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, I will say that you have also, uh, just to let you know, you've also known that you can palpate the outside of uh, the Gordon, in addition to the tricorder, because you've got the tricorder sitting there like a video monitor, and you've got one hand on the on her abdomen, and you're feeling where each individual uh, Gorn is. There are approximately five. Um, though the tricorder scan is not conclusive because it isn't a medical tricorder, um, but you have approximately five uh, embryo, five uh, young little baby Gorn, uh, five hatchlings. So you're you're using your hand to kind of feel where they are in relation to your your tricorder and your hand. I just wanted to let you know I want I want people who are watching to know that we are kind of doing this in a very respectful way because this is a a, a, pro, a process and yes. So um, if you're ready to go in. Um, and attempt to turn some of the Gorn to help them uh, birth normally. Yes. All right. Um, one of the things I want to do is um, you have a medical and I need a medical and daring check. Oh. Whoa, oh, Commander, are you sure your hand should go that far up? I would like to... Use up all of our momentum because I'm gonna need it. You're buying two dice. Yes, I am. Can I use my focus and inspiration to kind of give um, Sivek an inspirational like uh, speech to? I believe as a commanding officer, there's some, there's some powers that um, I didn't include on your character sheets, but as department heads, you have certain abilities, and as a commanding officer, you have assist. No matter, uh, relentlessly supportive, I believe is the. Community. I and that is that is, Captain Rollins and, likes uh, to a T. Uh, aggressively that's be, supportive. That's going to be, um, uh, what? Oh God, what do we call charisma again? Um, uh, presence, presence and medicine. Presence and medicine. Okay. Do you trust your presence more than most people? So you've got one die of presence and medicine. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many dice are we rolling against uh, six or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, eight. Also, the complication roll is about 18 to, 18 to 20 now. So, yeah, target of eight, I'm rolling four dice. So, Captain, if you would like to begin. I target, can... target is two. Yes. Uh, Commander, I've always believed in you. you. You're always elbows deep in some manifold and some ship somewhere. So I feel like this is... Very fitting for you. Five. I got All one. right. I you have one that. success. So, again, target of eight, we have a six. All right. A, sorry, I can barely see that. A nine. Okay. A nine again. Very good. And an 18. 
That's a complication. Oh, that's he, a paddling. What was the phrase? That's a paddling? Q's been waiting for this and... Oh, yeah, I got this baby over here. Hold on. Like, yeah, he, he, <laughs> so but how he's been hurting to put this computation on us for for the better part of the past. Oh, we, hour. we used it up. You you generated a whole new one. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I know. Yeah, because uh, Gordon physiology is a mess. Um, and and uh, so, you, but you did roll, as I recall, you've as a group rolled four successes, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Uh, that puts you up. You needed uh, two. That puts you up to a five total. Congratulations, team. However, there's a complication. Because the one thing we know about Gorn, according to Dr. McCoy, in Into Darkness, is what? Fans? Uh, uh, so uh, uh, miracle Tribbles are a thing? Close. Uh, I've got to get my die six out here. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. Um, and one of the things is that those bastards can bite. While your hand was inside attempting to help these little darlings, uh, one of them latched firmly onto your hand uh, for a one, a two, uh, two points of, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, I forget whatever your hit points were called. What were they oh, called, guys? Uh, Little dots. Uh, stress. Uh, stress. So two points of stress uh, onto your, I believe, will go with you being right-handed on this. Mm -hmm. uh, so a, 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 a teeny tiny predator has, has basically latched onto the meaty part of your finger and that thumb. That's getting named after you. Joke's on you. Joke's on, joke's on you. I have cloth armor. Uh, since, <laughs> ah, living through this. Well, at, at, at very least, this shall make you a little bit easier to turn. So, with the uh, the baby Gorn latched onto my arm, I'm going to kind of use that as the leverage I need to turn. And, yep. And this entire time, I'm just like looking at this, going, "Oh, oh." oh. So there is so, uh, uh, a I bit of one of right. out. What? Uh, you do manage to get the one that is is essentially blocking the way. Uh, it was turned sideways, so you are able to extract the the one, and then the others begin slowly uh, coming out. Yeah, they're oh, they're and not in an alien way. Yeah, uh, they're just sort of slopping out. And by the way, they look a bit more like uh, small T Rexes at this point. Oh. Uh, they have tails. Uh, they have much smaller arms than their a developed adult, and they're just little peeping. They're little adorable peeping things with giant, freaking sharp teeth. One of which is still engaged on your hand. Um, I'm sorry, that still sounds adorable. Yeah, <laughs> they're adorable, and it's uh, hanging them off your hand. I know they always say it's the miracle of life, but this is just so gross. Good thing there's uh, little costumes in the room next door. Yeah, there are a ton of. By the way, no, it's in the room. There's Avengers costumes and some Harry Potter outfits. Um, and uh, at this point, what happens is um, O'Connor actually comes up, and and I mean the the other babies are starting to be delivered more naturally. Sisliss uh, relaxes. Silas uh, Sil, uh, just also relaxes now that it sees that the uh, young are being delivered safely and O'Connor says oh this is tremendous the princesses are all fine princesses yes so he um you know he says well yes and um you know this is this is one of the 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 brood queens of of the hegemony I'm gonna look at Sivik and go you had your hand oh that's okay well it's your royalty now Sivik and I'm gonna kind of smack him on the back as like a like congratulations and I'm gonna take my hand that was uh that was inside the pregnant Gorn 
Well, it still and has slap a baby, it on the shoulder of. It still of, has a baby of, attached to it. I got, I got him in my left arm. Let me have. This. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> with, with all 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 the birth goo on my right hand, uh, tap uh, Captain Sice on the shoulder and thank oh. you, Captain. Yeah. You're make not... sure I really uh really, you know. Uh, you really. Make, really shouldn't... make sure he has to hit the sonic shower app. You shouldn't have, Commander. There's some birth goo. You've got some green blood on there. It's and all... I got a cute little pet. There you go. Yes. Buddy. Oh yeah, it's like peeping. It's making the little. And it actually looks like it may have been printed a little bit on a Vulcan. It's like like tipping its little head left and right, you know, and licking its lips with the green blood still in its teeth, and it's still licking its lips. So I guess you know that's the thing. No, um, Commander, I think he likes you. But uh, O'Connor then uh, comes up to Civic and actually says, you know, thank you so much for doing this. And, you know, you, you can't imagine what a service you've done to both the Federation as well as the Tellarite Secret Service. You're most welcome. Well, what brought uh, 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 Mr. O'Connor? Well, uh, wait, I'm sorry. I don't know his name yet, do I? It's O'Connor, yeah. Well, um, he has a name badge like everybody working in retail. Oh, right. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> his name is Jim. Uh, Mr. O'Connor, what led... Uh, do you have any idea what led these, uh, these Gorn into your store? Well, sure. This was their safe house. Safe. They were amb they were ambushed on their way to a diplomatic mission to deliver the babies. Hmm. Is it a common <laughs> practice for a build a horda to be a, go a Gorn safe rooms? A build a horda is anything you need it to be. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> <laughs> and then he and then he basically hands you this um, this little like. Uh, uh, gold token, which is, looks like a pig nose. And he says, yes, the secret snout owes you all a debt. And then, and all I'm going to say is, and scene. <laughs> Who would have known that we'd gotten into so many fun adventures <clears throat> before we even started streaming? <laughs> <laughs> all happens it's such a fluid concept yeah joke oh, on everyone. We, we, yeah that was uh, that was actually session negative one uh, right yeah oh you have no idea how much of your past we've blown <laughs> well actually almost all of the side tracks have indeed been negative sessions. deaths and deaths into the past yep, yep. we have yet to see how mr civic ticks Or right. he'll probably we, just want to make we, wine we did or open a soul. Yeah, we, we did uh, one. Civic. Wait, we did one with Civic? Oh, yes. Oh, it was so boring that you just... I was going to say, how could you not remember? The soul of a Romulan admiral <laughs> is just so mundane. You see the shine of the Civic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. I can't, uh, both hurt. of you get a point for next, for next <laughs> session because I was such a jerk. <laughs> But yes, this is what happens when we have people who have a life outside of Starfleet. All right. Just a life outside of Starfleet? Not according to Picard. <laughs> um, but anyway, yes, and with this, I relinquish control back to our regular sponsors. Well, thanks everybody who uh, joined with us and, and, and stayed to, to watch our little side adventure tonight. Uh, we will be back with the conclusion, well, I don't know if it's the conclusion, but the continuation of our uh, second uh, mission. Uh, our snoot booping adventure. Yeah, snoot booping. Uh, next Tuesday. Um, Monday. Oh, so yeah, Monday. Just... Tomorrow's <laughs> Tuesday. All right, get your point back. <laughs> Um, and if you like doing what we're doing, please hit the follow button if you haven't already. Uh, or if you have those Prime memberships, we are not against taking those as well. Um, and join us uh, for 5th edition D&D on Wednesday, uh, where our captain uh, plays the Game Master uh, in our fantasy world of Adenia. 
And maybe, maybe they will leave the goddamn barracks. <laughs> no promises. No. It's no like promises. the season finale of Rifts. <laughs> <laughs> will they leave through the door? <laughs> and then um, we have this Thursday, uh, Star Wars, uh, continuing for its second uh, episode. Uh, okay. And it'll be, what's that? Not Alien? Uh, alien starts on the 30th. Ah, okay. So we'll be well, doing alternating. Uh, some of us in the continuum, some of us in the continuum need to update our calendars. Then. <laughs> so we'll Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars is Thursday. Is Next Thursday will be Aliens, the start of the new Aliens campaign. Mm -hmm. And then it'll go all back and forth from week to yep. week. And uh, yeah, so uh, again, thanks everybody for popping in. Um, actually, Armand, do you want to talk about the uh, how the subscription rewards work while I pop up for a raid? Sure. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we're we're a humble Twitch stream here, and you know we we get our uh, our stuff from Twitch itself when you guys give us your subscriptions. Um, uh, and we want to pay you all back for uh, paying us in the first place. Uh, so if, if you sub for three months uh, uh, straight, you get a, a, a wonderful Lords and Ladies of Fate t-shirt. Um, uh, stick with us for six months and you get a wonderful... Uh, I don't have it displayed on my, uh, my <laughs> shelf behind me anymore. But uh, uh, there we go. We have a wonderful etched glass with the Lords and Ladies of Fate logo. So uh, you definitely want to uh, give us that support uh, because we, want, we, we pay that back to you. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's really all I got to say about uh, the rewards. Um, mm. What are we on our follower goal? We, 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 we need five more followers. So, so tell your friends, everybody, click, click the heart. Tell your enemies, too. Yeah, you know what? We, we don't, yeah. we don't, we don't, don't enjoy us. Tell everybody you don't like to watch us. We'll yeah. continue to bore the hell out of I need mm -hmm. some. I need some double secret probation uh, reverse psychology here. <laughs> yeah, if someone tells you that they don't want to watch the stream, just pull out the Uno reverse card and smack them in the face <laughs> and say, now what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, we will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye. We are smart. <laughs>